I thought I'd review this uh, new pull pump we've got. Our last pump died, so we had to get a new one, and we bought this because they they claim it um, uses about a quarter of the electricity of our previous pump. So it's twice the price, nearly three times the price, but we thought we would give it a go. So it's the Viron P320 Evo pump by Astral Pool. And uh, so far it's been pretty good. Our last um, pump was the Davy. Oh, what was it? Davy SLS 300 one and a half single speed pump. Ran at 2850 RPM. And it was a pretty quiet pump and did the job. Our uh, summer electricity bill to run the pump and heater generally was around fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars. This uh, summer bill was twelve hundred bucks, so it's four hundred less. So we can only presume that the heater is uh, the uh, the pump is doing its job. And then we received our bill for our autumn bill with the heater. Normally the bill's around nine hundred bucks, and uh, this year it was six hundred. So three hundred dollars down on the previous year. So over a period of six months, our electricity bill's 900 or 700 less, and we can. The only thing we can see that's really changed is this pull pump. Depending on the actual temperature, we may run the heater more or less, so that would change it a bit. But but generally, from a uh, fuel, a uh, energy saving point of view, it's been pretty good. The other good thing is it is actually pretty quiet. I don't know if you can hear it running there in the background. But it is what they call a, uh, a variable pump. So it's running low at the moment, and to get the energy savings, you need to be able to run it low. If you can't run on low, it's, it's pointless, because for what they cost, and if you have to run on high, you're going to be using the same amount of energy anyway. So if you, I don't know if you can hear that, but I'll just pump it up to what our other pump was at. So as you can see, oh, what are we doing? As you can hear, it's a bloody noisy thing running at full power. If you had to run all your pool equipment on this thing, it would drive you up the wall because it is really quite a high pitched, loud noise. So you can just go through the thing. So that's 28.50 and down she comes. This keeps coming down and I'm on 13.75. Any lower and you know it's probably not going to rope you know move the water around enough. You're not going to filter it enough. So overall it's it's pretty good. My concern with this this um, pump was that it had to run our heat pump to heat the swimming pool up and a lot of people said these things wouldn't work. So there's our heat pump which is not running at the moment because summer's finished and we're not swimming but it's a Zodiac Eden Pack, I don't know, 4 or some bloody thing they call it, doesn't really matter. But um, these things are pretty economical to run, they're an alternative to solar uh, heating where people have those blasted rubber things up on their roof so that is the cheaper way but it's just you've got to weigh up what you want these things will run overnight where solar doesn't work overnight I think generally solar is probably better but these these are pretty good they do a good job maintain you know 30 degrees all summer running at about eight hours a day depending on the air temp but they're pretty good anyway back to this pump so here's our setup set up the uh, Zodiac heat pump, we've got a Davy cartridge filter, this here uh, Waterco multi cyclone thing that's meant to filter out some of the shit that gets in the, to stop it getting into the filter, oh there's something I should point out, with this Buron pump and a cartridge filter, unless the filter's brand new and really really clean it won't work on that low pressure you need to crank it up to about 2,000 so once again you're not going to get the benefits from it. 
but you've got to replace your filter every couple of years anyway, so that's no big deal. And then moving around, that thing back there, where is it? In there, that liquid blanket, they're a complete waste of time in an outdoor swimming pool. All the stuff gets blown to one end, so they don't really do anything. Don't waste your money on one of them. Go for a solid blanket, but unfortunately they're as ugly as anything. So we choose to have nothing. You do lose a bit from evaporation. In there we got the... What is that thing? The chlorinator, the, and we've got the auto acid doser. Once again, not a very reliable product. We're now dosing manually. It's a lot better. Well known that they don't do a very good job. And then back down here to our... pump and there it is it's still going buzzing along I'll just move in a bit closer I think yep there it is 1375 with a clean filter it'll run this it'll run that heater and save us quite a lot of money it's actually quite good so there so in closing, for an outlay of 1250, we reckon in six months we've saved about six to seven hundred dollars. Over winter will be bugger all because it, you know, it runs. Uh, we don't run this too much, just enough to keep the water clean. And then um, obviously the spring bill will be once again low because there won't be. That'll be the next one, and then the summer will be interesting to see. They recommend. They reckon you might save about 800 to a grand uh, running at our running cost uh, time, how many hours, what we're using, and it's probably going to be about that. So for once, all the sales pitch was probably pretty accurate. So if you're in the market for a new pump, and you reckon, make sure you really check this out, it'll run on the low speed, they're pretty good. Otherwise, uh, just buy a $500 one and run it. High, high speed, if you've got to run this high speed, like mentioned, it's bloody noisy. The uh, Davy one, the silencer, that was really quiet. You could hardly hear that, so they've certainly got it over Viron or Astral, whatever they're called when it comes to sound. Anyway, that's it. It's a bit too cold to go for a swim, even though it's a nice sunny day. Bye.